999 frogs wake up. Spring has arrived. Mother Frog was the first to wake up. She calls her froglets. It's spring. Wake up, everyone. One froglet after the other poked his head out of the ground. Pop, pop, pop. There were 999 brothers and sisters. One two, three, Mother Frog counted. But no matter how many times she counted, she could only find 998 froglets. That's strange, she said. Then suddenly, the sound of snoring caught her ear. <sighs> It's your big brother, called Mother Frog. He's still asleep. What a sleepy head, said the froglets with a giggle. Mother Frog called out to Big Brother, Wake up, sleepy head. Big Brother finally woke up. <sighs> Good morning, Big Brother, said M Mother Frog and the froglets. Oh, oh, hi. Good morning, said Big Brother, still a little sleepy. Just then they heard snoring again. <sighs> Who is that? they cried. Someone else is still sleeping. I'll wake him up, said Big Brother. Hey, sleepyhead, it's time to wake up. What, what happened, said a low voice. Then suddenly an old turtle popped his head out of the ground and asked, Did I miss spring again? No. The cherry trees are just blossoming, blossoming, answered the froglets. The old turtle looked up at the blossoming cherry tree and said, Oh, it's so beautiful. I always oversleep and miss seeing the flowers. But this year, I am awake on time. Thank you. Big Brother was happy to hear the turtle's words. Just then, the froglet said, Over here, it's another sleepyhead. Who could that be? asked Big Brother. He lifted the stone and saw a lizard sleeping soundly. What a sleepy lizard, said Big Brother. Wake up! It's springtime now! The lizard woke up and climbed onto a stone. Oh, I feel the warmth on my stomach. Surely spring has arrived, she said dreamily closing her eyes. The 999 brothers and sisters closed their eyes for a moment as well. Then Big Brother said, I have an idea. Let's find more sleepy heads. Yes, let's go looking, said the younger brothers and sisters. Over here, Big Brother, there are lots of sleepy heads under these leaves, called the froglets. Big Brother lifted the leaves and saw ladybugs sleeping all together. That's a lot of sleepy heads, he said. Wake up, spring is here, called the froglets in, choirs, in chorus. The ladybug began to wiggle and wake up. 
Spring is here. I'm hungry. Have the flowers blossomed yet? The aphids is flowering fields are delicious. Let's go see. The ladybugs flew away in search of flowers. The 999 brothers and sisters kept looking, calling sleepy heads, where are you? Suddenly, they heard a loud snoring. Over here, the sleepy head must be in this hole, said Big Brother. Wake up, sleepy head, he called. But the sleepy head would not wake up. This is a very tired sleepy head, said Big Brother. Then he climbed down into the hole and pulled him, saying, You must wake up now. But the sleepy head kept sleeping. Big Brother was getting upset. Let's pull him out of this hole. Yeah, shouted the froglets. They all helped their big brother pull. Heave ho, heave ho, heave ho, they cried. Pop! It's a big snake, cried the 999 brothers and sisters. Mother Frog heard the cry of her froglets. She saw them standing perfectly still in front of the sleepy snake. Big Brother trembled, remembering how a snake had chased him last year. Soon the snake woke up and said, Hmm, is it time for a nice meal? Not yet. You can sleep some more. Well, Wake, we'll wake you, we'll wake you when your breakfast is ready," said Mother Frog, as gently as she were soothing a baby. Then the snake coiled up and went back to sleep. Psst, let me help you. You woke me up. In time for spring, as a thank you, I will take the snake deep into the woods, the old turtle whispered, and walked away carrying the snake on his back slowly, very slowly. That was close. What a relief, said the 999 brothers and sisters, jumping for joy again and again. Okay, everyone, make a line, said Mother Frog. I want to be sure that everyone is safe. Mother Frog began to count her froglets again. One, two, three, four, five. Uh-oh, don't move. But no matter how many times she counted, she could only find 998 froglets. Big Brother was missing. Big Brother was just taking a nap. It had been a very busy morning. And that's the end of this story called 999 Frogs Wake Up.